On May 28, 2015, the Brotherhood, Sister Soul, an organization in West Harlem focused on youth, held an event where community members were invited to create art as a way to raise awareness and protest incidents of police brutality occurring within the country. Some art can be straightforward, some is uh, up to interpretation, but it certainly is a way to bring out a, a message, uh, that, you know, and it could be police brutality or something political or any, depending on what the artist chose. My drawing was no, uh, no justice, no peace, no racist police, and another one that other people drew were um, on the police. Um, serve and discriminate. When I know that our young folks are taking interest in creating art that's going to challenge injustice, um, I think it becomes very personal for me. You know what I'm saying? I think a lot of us grow up as youth, you know, saying dealing with racism and we don't have adults who are willing to say that, you know what, yes, that was racist. Yes, the response that you had is the response that you should have um, because you're right. I want my brothers like my biological brothers, <laughs> to be able to walk down the street safely. And I don't want to have to worry about if they'll come home safe, if something will happen, if like just because of somebody else's perception of them. When I was younger, I didn't know that police used to kill a lot of black people. It's when I got older, especially when I joined the Liberation Program, I learned about all these police killings, such as Akai Gurley, Eric Garner, Chantel Davis, that some, some people may not know about as well. The main topic throughout the event was the lesser degree of media exposure for women of color who are confronted with police brutality compared to men. The world is still very male dominated, you know, and uh, so I feel like uh, when the media shows these things, and, and the media impacts what people know a lot, you know, a lot impacts people's thinking so uh, they when they usually portray males instead of females that's usually what people see I've definitely seen women black women um, getting arrested by police uh, tased by police I never doubted it I never doubted that it wasn't existent we know Rakia Boyd was killed back in 2012 you know saying maybe about a month ago at this point you know, saying the DAs, you know, out of Chicago found that the cop who shot her didn't do anything wrong, wasn't reckless in shooting into a crowd, you know, of young people. Granted, Rakia Boyd, unfortunately, was the one who was shot in the back of the head, but there were others you know, who she was with. They could have very easily killed a crowd of people. And the fact that a lot of people didn't know her name, um, even when the indictment came out, you know, saying I think that's a problem. There was a case where this, um, there was sort of like a, a protest of women, and uh, they were naked. Like they were, they had, they were shirtless, you know. And uh, one girl wrote on her chest, like, "Do you see me now?" But as a female, I don't think anyone should give up and just let it be. You know, you shouldn't just let it be. You should do something. And their family members who are still alive, who need to know that their daughters, you know, saying that their children, you know, saying if they don't identify as either man or woman, they need to know that their lives, you know, saying are still resonating, you know, in the hearts and minds of the people who are fighting. And then it's important to have art to be able to be a part of that. Thank you.